ascension has to be ascended. I see what you did there. Yes, please. Not against him. Monsieur Starhorn. Um, these are both okay. Like, could be hate furnace. In which case, both of these are pretty good against buffed units. To be fair, Dream Shaper isn't really what I want against Starhorn. Although, it's good in the early turns. I just need to replace lots of expensive cards. The ideal is to draw Celebrant, though. Yeah, I can keep this and then do turn two Blood of Arrows. Pretty sweet. And this is embarrassing if their plays are, like, involving Lava Slasher and two drops. Okay. Never Celebrant. Alright. That's not bad. That's something I can just discard. It might help me clear some two drops if my opponent plays some stuff in the middle. <clears throat> That's not happening. Alright. I can't reach that. Opponent has defeated my bone swarm. But do I even start with the card draw? I guess I'll play this. I hope to hit a two. I don't know how much I like giving my opponent even a chance of taking the middle tile. And I can play the I can play first wish on this anyway. So I think coming forward and playing Dream Shaper in the middle is better. Cool. Ah. Much better. Aha! Let's do this and say go, I think. Hope I don't get too lava slashed. It's a shame that Synaptic Arbitrage only takes over enemy minions. I don't know why you would want to gain control of your own stuff. Oh no, is there a Great Fortitude as well? Yeesh. Oh, I should have checked if it was the quest. It's not, it's just... That's all, I guess. I mean, this Blood of Air is good. This Blood of Air is very good. This Bone Swarm is also pretty good. Um... Leaves me with a small amount of mana left over to play something. I can play an Azaherald Herald on this mana tile, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I think I like getting the cards out of my hand. You want to take over generals? Oh, right, okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you could take over their general, it would be pretty good. But then, like, you wouldn't print that card, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> how does that work? I mean, how much does that card cost? Like, four, right? Like, four mana, give your opponent a creature, you win the game. Seems quite good. <laughs> I guess it has to be a creature of at least three power. But you have to give away your own general. Okay. I mean... Do you just trade decks? Is that how it works? Like, oh, I'm losing. Have this... <laughs> have my terrible deck. Oh, there's a card in Hearthstone that does that. It swaps decks with your opponent. Um, and there, there was a card way back that could steal their... Um, Bloodborne spell equivalent. You give him your minion as a new general, obviously. Otherwise, it'd be unfair. Okay. I see. <laughs> I see how this goes. Damn. Lava is sure slashed today. Sure slashed. I want to bounce that, but I can't. This card sucks. 
Um, I guess I blood and air it. No, I, or I could just jam a thunderhorn and run away. I like the plan of jamming thunderhorn. Am I gonna get war beasted to death next turn though? Like, war beast hitting this. I can run this away. That doesn't matter. My opponent can reach it anyway. Thunderhorn like here or something. Plays around that. But my opponent still gets to hit me in the face for a turn. <clears throat> Let's try, if I can find more healing, maybe I can wrist bet. Okay, yeah, let's let's wrist bet. So we'll play Thunderhorn up here, I think. Plays around War Beast. Uh, we'll send the As Herald. Oh, I can't be near the Thunderhorn. I'll put it here, I guess. I'm happy with either of these to attack it, because then the Thunderhorn can finish them off. Still waiting for the day where we can we get the featured game mode. We can face off against each other as previous bosses. Oh, that'll be so sweet, boss PvP. Although they've done that a couple of times in Hearthstone again in uh, Tavern Brawl, it usually doesn't work very well. Like they're they're just radically imbalanced against one another. Swapping decks will be interesting though. Just play those heart uh, those uh, Abyssian cards that can steal your opponent's stuff, and you basically can. It's great. Has anyone ever told you that you're one of the kindest persons in this community and you're doing a really good job reacting to critique, etc.? Oh, thank you so much. That's really not, that's really kind of you. Um, I'm not having my, my best playing day today, so it's, it's really kind of you to say that, actually. Feeling a bit bad about all the mistakes I'm making. <laughs> boss v. Boss is completely unbalanced. That does not surprise me. Um, I would not expect otherwise. Spelljammer. Oh no, my cards. I guess I bounce that. I don't draw a card, but that seems fine. How much mana do I have? Not enough mana. To do anything good. Wait a minute. This is why Thunderhorn exists. Punch this. Punch this with as a herald. Hmm. Brushes the lava slasher? Then I have enough mana to do something arbitrary. Or I blood of air it, punch the lava. Now nah, that's rubbish. And then I have this for next turn. Right, I don't need this, but let's try and find another two drop. I could discard that, I guess. Just hit him in the face. Right, I think this is happening. I think this is happening. We could just make this game into a straight race. I don't think we're very well equipped to win races as a deck playing a pile of 6 and 7 drops, but... I mean, this looks okay, right? Like... Block off some space here. We can come up here. Heal up. Punch the face, play Rash's Curse, uh, go face with it. Again, just basically making space in my hand for Seeking Eye and Spelljammer and other similar effects. And the next one I can steal whatever they play. They play a... I guess all the Lava Slashes, two of the Lava Slashes are gone. War Beast is not unlikely, but they didn't have one last turn. Uh, where it probably would have been better than Spelljammer. Ooh, more chat. Bounce it back, he's on six cards. Yes, I am dumb. <laughs> Thought they were on five for some reason. Um, that would have been good. How about a game where players face off against each other by utilizing the opponent's deck, which would basically come down to a contest of who builds the worst. I... That's been a thing before. Um, I've seen that. I've, I've used to do that with my friends in, uh, in Hearthstone. So I can steal this and attack for two... Puts me to, and then I can go face if I want. Puts me to 16, which is pretty safe against Decimus. Or I can bounce it. Um, like I should have done with the Slasher last turn. If I can find a 2-drop follow-up to this, maybe that's better. Probably hang on to this so I can kill a Decimus. I'm going to steal this for the purposes of just straight-up mana efficiency.
How do I position it in such a way that it'll just get hit by the next war beast? I guess that has to be here and I don't get to attack face. That's kind of okay, I guess. Rawr. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hey, Blade Crustacean, thanks for joining. Good to see you. Uh, where are we? Making a deck that's more useless than your opponent's. The problem with... So... The, f the most fun I've had with Backdraft is where... Uh, so in Hearthstone, there used to be this suggest this thing where it would like help you build a deck if you were new. You could... you could Basically, it would like suggest three cards and you picked one to fill in a deck. And it would try, it would try its best to give you like a curve, some mix of spells and minions. Um, but you could still give your opponent like dreadful cards. And that was really fun. And then at some point they improved the feature by making it suggest proper decks. And it became way less fun. Am I dead? Don't kill me. Actually, double spikes attack face doesn't kill me. They can't do that. But double spikes... Just double spikes is exactly the full. Grumble, 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 grumble. Grumble, grumble, grumble. This sucks. I should have thought of that. Because if I hadn't played around the counter war beast and played around that instead... Uh, we would have drawn the game instead of me losing. Oh, I wasn't thinking about double spikes. So what was the, the leveled up combo that gets you? Where are we? Um, Arsenal is funny, but not, without, not worth spending a lot of money on IMO. Yeah, it's not... It's very hard to keep up with Hearthstone, I think. Um... But I enjoy it. I've been playing a lot of Monster Hunt. I think I've basically done with it now. Like, the mode definitely has its flaws. But it's fun. Um, in fact, Katie is currently playing Arena next to me. Katie drafts a lot of Hearthstone. I'm on the final boss of Monster Hunt. Uh, oh, we're... sorry. I thought it was Arena. Katie's <laughs> not playing Arena. Katie's arena. playing single player. <laughs> I tried to build um, it out. I couldn't work. <laughs> it's a four-card combo. You don't play around it. I don't know. You can sometimes. Like, I guess my opponent had mostly been playing pretty fair up to that point so there was no real signal that they're holding on to that much combo gas i guess they just drew pretty well and had like bomb mid-range cards into good combo 